Christina, can I get a drum roll? The High Republic has been an amazing success, and it's so gratifying to see such a positive response to the original Star Wars storytelling. We've seen six instant New York Times best-selling novels, some of our best-selling Star Wars comics in years, and the first original manga story. As we come to the end of phase one, I want to congratulate all of the authors and thank the readers for your support. And please tell everyone to prepare for some truly exciting stories to come. Lightsabers, lightsabers, lightsabers. Fun. Hi, James. Hey, Christina. Thank you for being our first at the round table guest. It's a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Kennedy, she really threw the gauntlet down. She really challenged us to be bold, to not just focus on sort of tie-in books that expanded the, the movie fictions, but build new characters and like find new spaces and just like challenge yourself Could we do like big stories that like weave a tapestry. So it was a big, bold challenge, but it actually really gave us, I think, the confidence to say like, let's do different with Star Wars. Leaving all of us wondering, where's the story gonna go next? And what would you say was the biggest challenge of undertaking this endeavor? Not only were we building a whole new storyline that could possibly traverse like five years of storytelling, we were also doing it in a whole new era that we hadn't explored yet. And so we were kind of figuring out those foundational world building tenets at the same time we were building a story. So that was a challenge, but it was a really exciting one. I would say the thing that was most challenging though is building something that takes place over five years in different publishing formats that has to be an ongoing narrative in phases. And so you sort of cross your fingers and you work really hard and you hope that people love it. Part of the reason I was excited to come on board with this project is that we're all kind of, not driving necessarily, but we're all in the passenger seat together. We're all learning yeah. about this stuff firsthand. Because that's what we do here, baby. Now, can you speak to story group's involvement with this project? We have been involved at every step of the way. From sort of initial, you know, strategic conversations that we wanted to really explore new directions in publishing, to being in the room at every step, and working with artists and editors and, and writers. Busy, busy, busy. I think there's a little misnomer that we're, you know, at times handing stories over, or telling people what to write, and that, that's not at all the case. I think we, we really look at it as we're dramaturgs. We're there to make the story better and to be Star Wars experts. <laughs> to be good sounding boards to help shape these stories because we have awareness of what's going on across all the different mediums mm -hmm. and platforms. And so bringing that wealth of information to each creator and allowing them to have you know, a resource that helps guide and empowers their vision is, I think, really our, our strong suit. I've really been enjoying the new High Republic era literature. And my question is, is there a chance that that era will be explored further through live action or animated series? You know, I can't really say for sure, but I know one thing is that we've divided Star Wars up into these big eras, and so it's nice to give a lot of creative people their own space to tell stories in, and so uh, the writers in the High Republic era are doing a wonderful job at that, and, you know, we all keep an eye on what each other's doing, uh, so you, you never know. I mean, it's, it's a big galaxy, and it's ever-expanding. Star Wars, it's a journey, y'all. Can you tell us about bringing it into other media and some other exciting things that you may have coming up? There's a really exciting game in development that is gonna really allow you to step into the High Republic and play it. There is a live action show in development, which is incredibly exciting to think that this influenced a really amazing creator in Leslie Headland. We did a really exciting VR experience with the X-Lab group called Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. And, you know, there are a few other things in the works that I will be more than happy to talk about. In the, when they come. In the time, <laughs> yeah, in the, you know, the months, years ahead. I think the future is very bright for the High Republic in the, the years ahead. Well, we do do it for light and life. Light and life. <laughs>
My name is Caitlin Jacques, and I am a costumer who does costumes for a lot of different Star Wars categories, but especially Jedi. I never really did Star Wars costuming until I was finishing my doctorate. It's not my fault! What was your reaction to the Fallen Star? Oh, heartbreak and despair. I'm still rooting for Buryaga. I'm Team Buryaga is totally fine somewhere. He's totally fine. We're gonna find out in a couple years. You can tell how much fun I was having writing it. And the opportunity to also expand that story, we've been following Emmerich and seeing so much. And it's just cool to really like open up that world to other characters and see how they all come together. Do you have anything you want to tell me? I do. Christina, as you know, I've been such a huge fan of this initiative, and I am so pleased to tell you today and everybody else watching at home that part of that love is going to come across now in a brand new book from Abrams that is The Art of Star Wars The High Republic. Bye. Bye, Kristen Baver. I'm so excited about it that I am at a loss for words. What do you think they'd be arguing about? Where the profits of their next charitable bake sale go? <laughs> no, think again. Desserts? Desserts. Listen, they are a prominent part of your work and I respect that about you. Let's not forget the Bake Off issue, which is coming out very soon and is very, very special, dear to my heart. Best Jedi Baker, Yoda, Cantum, or Buckets of Blood. I, I would be disrespecting my good friend Daniel if I said anyone other than Buckets of Blood. Oh, it's totally Buckets of Blood. I feel like Reed's probably got some hidden wealth of pastry knowledge. He, he reads a lot. Orbanum. It's a little known fact that he makes a mean gatto. Low key, it's, it's Cantem. We don't know where Yoda is right now. Cantem is the rating chip. And we had ideas going up on the board and Daniel scribbling dinosaurs. It was so great. Was there much planning of the story that went between the Project Luminous team to work out the finale? Or did a lot of it come individually as you wrote? Both of those things are true. There was a lot of extensive planning among the whole group. From the beginning, we had known some of the big things that were going to happen in this book, but exactly how they were going to happen and how they would coordinate with the other stories being told. All of that involved a lot of cooperation. Wink, wink. It doesn't matter to the viewer as much if it's canon, but it matters to the storytellers. To some degree, yeah, to some degree, but the only extent to which it matters is does another storyteller need to be beholden to it? And that's really like the, the functional definition of canon. It never even enters into their mind if they need to understand it in this sort of weird, abstract, academic way. Wink, wink. Character you'd most want to hang out with. Who among us would not want to hang out with Geo? The questions that we all are dying to hear answered, Claudia. How old is Geo? Does Geo even age? Does Geo just geode? What is the very philosophical concept of geode? I think Geode could really be the only person that could answer his philosophical questions. And he does think on these topics. I mean, he's, he's a deep character. Geode's in a lot of different ways. I think we do learn a little bit in The Fallen Star that magnetism plays a role, but of course we knew that. You know, he's got that kind of a personality. They do age, but very slowly. I am not sure of his exact age. I would think he's sort of youngish to middle aged by event standards. So I'm gonna figure out exactly what that is because I have to know what other can of material can he be in. If I play this right, who knows? Who knows how long Geode's been around? All right, this is food for thought. Thank you. One word to describe what fans are about to experience. I don't know, thrills. Probably screaming. Mayhem. Disaster. Joyful suspense. Canon. Canon. Now, as far as the characters in these stories, how closely did you work with the artists on creating characters? As you said, we didn't have the canon to pull from, aside from a couple characters like Yoda. You know, Yoda, whatever. I'm sorry, Charles is Yoda, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and sure, Yoda's in it, whatever. And Yoda, whatever. And Yoda. <laughs> Yoda, whatever. I'm, I'm and so not nice pirate. Charles, it says, and Yoda, Yoda whatever. whatever. And, and then also Yoda. Um, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Yoda, whatever. Then, yeah. That is why you fail. And this is only the beginning. This is just the tip of the iceberg.
Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the Force be with you. Impressive. The most impressive.